At CDU, I was not allowed to speak to or look at my peers. The staff verbally abused me, calling me vulgar names that should never be said to a child. CDU forced us to participate in attack therapy designed to humiliate and degrade you. I did not comply with the program, so I was brought to Ascent in Idaho. At Ascent, I was forced to do physical labor while malnourished and sleep deprived. I couldn't speak to my parents because the staff said I didn't deserve to. One day, a staff member strangled me and slapped me across the face in front of the other kids. She did this to instill fear in everyone. Despite hypothermia and physical beatings from staff, there was no medical care. Sorry. Next, I was sent to Cascade. I received no education or therapy there. I feared daily for my well-being, but I would not let them break my spirit. Provo Canyon School was my final stop. I was given clothes with the number on the tag. I was no longer Paris. I was only number 127. I was verbally, mentally, and physically abused on a daily basis. I was cut off from the outside world and stripped of all of my human rights. I was not allowed to be myself, hold my own opinions, or even speak. Without a diagnosis, I was forced to consume medication that made me feel numb and exhausted. I didn't breathe fresh air or see the sunlight for 11 months. There was zero privacy. Every time I would use the bathroom or take a shower, it was monitored. At 16 years old, as a child, I felt their piercing eyes staring at my naked body. I was just a kid and felt violated every single day.